Okay, I'm Floyd Schofield, Kid Austin. From Austin, Texas, I'm from Jersey. I was born in Jersey City. I moved to Atlanta. I grew up in Atlanta. That's where I had my amateur career. And now I moved to Texas. And I did my training camp in Houston, Texas with Ronnie Shields. Well, Floyd found the boxing gym by, I was a boxing coach and trainer. So at two years old when I got custody of him, I didn't have a babysitter. So I would bring him to the gym with me and he'll be in the playpen. And then after a while, as he grew, he wanted to get out the playpen, started hitting bags. And he just had this, at five, he claimed he was the greatest boxer ever. And then that's when he like, you know, wanted me to, you know, start competing and stuff like that. And I believe when I was seven, I had my first amateur fight. And like that rush is just like stuck with me. It was like, you know how like people were like jumping out of planes and whatnot? That's my adrenaline rush right there, boxing, like fighting. The obstacles he faced was we was homeless, so all he, he didn't really have friends, all he had was boxing. And once he seen the attention he was getting as a boxer, that kept, that built his confidence and he just stuck with it. He struggled a lot for me. I'm forever grateful and I think that's another one of my motivations because like I owe him that because like if he didn't, he had at least spent over 500 grand just me traveling around the world just to fulfill my dream. and. Lord knows if I would have got an injury and, you know, all that money would have went down the drain, but he invested into my career. So, you know, I'm just glad I stuck with it and everything, like I say, everything stems from him. Well, with Golden Boy, we knew, I told him years ago that we was going to be with Golden Boy way before Oscar DM'd, DM'd him because I feel Oscar is a Hall of Famer and he's a great and Bernard Hopkins is a great. So if I'm going to create the greatest box of all time, why not have two guys, two great fighters that could give him the knowledge and help groom him to be that? At first, I, I, I thought it was fake. Like, I thought it was a fake account, you know? It, even if it was verified, I didn't care. I was like, nah, that ain't real. But then when he did it a second time, when I turned, I believe I turned 19, I was like, okay, now nah, nah, this is crazy. This is actually him. Like, mm -hmm. so, man, that gave me a lot of motivation. Like, just keep pushing, like, he's watching. What would separate him that I noticed is I put him, I took him to camps like to spar Devin Haney. We got Devin Haney ready for fights. We got Shakur ready for fights. Robin Easton Jr. been in camp with Tank twice and just watching him, watching these champions. And these was current champions, like holding their belts. They can't even touch him, they couldn't do nothing with him. So that may let me know he's special because he wasn't even pro yet. He was 17 years old when he hurt Devin and buckled Devin. And so it's just like I knew it was something different about him. This is just the beginning. And if they put me as a main event on my second fight with them, like, you know, something might be coming. Like, you know, the fights are going to get harder and harder. And, you know, like, just because I'm a main event now doesn't mean I start slacking. Because once you start slacking, like, everything goes down the drain. You lose that main event spot. So, like, me being this main event, I'm not letting it get to my head. I'm treating it like it's at, like I'm fighting a world champion. Um, this guy, he, he's, he's, I don't think he's on my level. I'm always say that, but like I said, a punch is a punch, and he has 14 knockouts for a reason. So, and I like to give a shout out to everybody back home watching and supporting. Um, make sure y'all tune into the zone on Thursday. Go to Boy Fight Night, Fantasy Springs. If you wanna come watch it live? Get your tickets. 2023, uh, Kid Austin, come for my bills. <laughs>